Hi, it's Hans at happierman.com. Today's topic is wrong goals. Well, well, the first thing is it's colder than heck where I'm at here. It's early January and it's, it says 17 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, it's not, that is a brutal cold for where I'm at, but it still feels really cold. We've had a kind of a mild Christmas time. So anyway, getting back to the wrong goals, um, I love setting goals and trying to figure out how those goals will improve my life. Uh, but the, the wrong goals are when you set goals too quickly. I, I kind of fell into that trap uh, last summer-ish, last fall. I, I, I had uh, accomplished some enormously important goals to, to myself earlier in the year five big goals actually and in my life went from one thing to much much better after I accomplished those five goals so obviously I was very excited to accomplish those goals and I was working very hard at them persistently relentlessly and you know, without fail until I accomplish them. And then so, you know, in the excitement of getting all that done, I said, you know, I'm really a goal setting, a goal accomplishing guy, so I better set some goals right away. Well, I did, and I set them, and the ones that I set though were uh, kind of modest, kind of, mm, not really that much to them. Um, those were like wrong goals. They weren't. They weren't good enough goals for me to, to get excited about. They weren't um, uh, life uplifting enough to, for me to pursue with all my heart and soul. Those were. That's the point of the, the wrong goals. The wrong goals. You won't be excited. To, to work on, you'll procrastinate on them, they'll, they won't mean much to, to you, and then they'll also, even if you accomplish the goals, they won't really help your life all that much. You see what I mean? You see where I'm getting at? If you, the right goals, you'll naturally want to go after with a lot of your heart and soul, they'll if you accomplish them, they'll make your life go from here to here, right? They'll up-level your life quite a bit. Um, and you'll be excited to work on them uh, no matter what what the cost, right? So any goal that doesn't give you those three things, yeah, it's probably the wrong goal for you. Another wrong goal is to set goals that are for other people. You know, you'll see a friend or family member struggling and you kind of know what their problem is and you'll, you'll set a goal for them. Well, that's wrong too, right? The goals are personal to you. You know, what you would be doing. You know, there may be something to be said for your goal is to help this person and you're going to do X, Y, Z, A, B, C for that person. You see what I mean? You're going to take care of that person, your child, an elderly relative, somebody who needs a lot of help. You're going to, you have a goal to help them, but these are things that you do, not that uh, my kid is in uh, high school, I'm gonna get them to college. Well, that's not really your goal, right? That that would be their goal. You know, they they may not want to do that. Right? So that's wrong to set the goals for other people. The, the, your the, your goals in relation to other people are what? How can you call on them to help you? Accomplish your goal. Like, for
for example, I had my had a bunch of dental work, very expensive, time-consuming work. I mean, my goal, I had my dentist and my hygienist and the dental office do all that work, right? So that was how I called on other people to, for that goal. Another goal was to get a a job in a certain a different town that I wanted to move to and I wanted a certain job. Well, I had to call upon all those other people, you know, hey, give me this job, go through all the enormous hoops that you need to go through to get a great job. So, but the, still the, the bulk of the work was mine. You see what I mean? It wasn't like I had a goal for somebody else to get their job. The goal was for me to get the job. You get the idea. So give that idea some thought. When you are setting your goals, make sure they're not wrong goals. Spend as much time as necessary uh, working on what a good goal is for you. A good goal or two. You know, me maybe you keep you want to keep the number of goals or the serious things you're working on, keep them under control. Usually two at a time. I find two at a time more than enough. And then you want to bite down the size of those goals so that you can accomplish them in a reasonable amount of time. You know, something that's going to take you 10 years, mm, is that a reasonable amount of time? I don't think so. You know, usually want to think in terms of weeks or months to accomplish a goal to make. If your life is here, you want it to here that much better in a number of months. So, take your time when setting your goals. Make sure they're not wrong all for now.